So in this video, we are going to understand how the view range works in Revit. So basically, I have just created a few elements in it. So this is a wall, there's a floor, and there is a desk and a chair and some windows and a door. So I have just created one of the section. Basically here, section one, you can see here. So let's, uh, let's do one thing. Let's close this on 3D and press WT to activate the multiple view, multiple window here. So we can see what's going on and I will explain you how actually it works. So first of all, let's, uh, here we are on the floor plan level one. Let's go and press VR on the floor plan because VR only works, view range works only in the floor plans and the ceiling plan. If you press VR on the section by selecting the section key, it won't appear. You just have to click here in the any of the floor plan or RCP plan, then you can activate the VR. So as you can see here, there are a few things which is already mentioned. So let's talk about it first. So when you open this slide one, show box, it will appear detailed things, which is actually we are going to understand through how it works. So here in the top, you just see here, that is primary range here. And when you open this one, it is going to demonstrate to you what exactly and how it works. So as you can see that it's showing the point number one, means this one, the point one. So this line is actually called primary range top, which you see here, primary range top. So whatever the adjustment you want to adjust, you can first adjust on the top that is called primary range top, and you can create an offset. Suppose you have a window till here, then you want to see that as well. So then you need to increase this top, the primary range of the top. Second one is primary range cut plane, the number two, which you see here. So basically this is the main thing we need to actually focus on. And it's here, primary range cut plane. Whatever the adjustment you wanted to do, you can do it here. And what it will do actually, let me close this and I'll explain you the cut plane. So suppose let me create an RP and let's call, call this one as a cut plane. So whatever you're going to cut through, you wanted to see that in the floor plan. You're going to adjust that in the floor plan and it will move like this around. So when it goes up, then the window, the sorry, the door won't appear because we want that. We want to see the, if you want to see the chair, if you want to see the desk, if you want to see the door, then we need to decrease this one like this here then only you can see all the elements or maybe till here. So then only you can able to see all the elements because it will look on the downside here. So this is how it works. Let's press VR again. Let's open this one. And now you can see that here. It's showing already here by default, cut plane 1200 approx. And here the third number is primary range button. So basically this is actually considered as the base so basically on the bottom side, it name considered as a bottom. So you can add an offset if you want. Suppose number three is here. So if you want to add an offset, you want to see the bottom side, you can add that as well. So basically you can control it from here. We don't need to do anything here right now. So just let it put it zero, but you can experiment with it and you can play around with this tool. Definitely you will understand very easily. The fourth one is view depth level. So basically what is view depth level? Suppose you want to see in the beneath of this one, the bottom side of it, view depth. So that is considered as that way. So if you want to actually see uh, through the level, uh, suppose you're working on the level two, you want to see the level one as well. Uh, by controlling the view depth, you can change it to level below. Then it will appear the level one if you're working on the level two. And it will, you can also set the offset accordingly. And if you want to set unlimited, it will show the unlimited means the view depth will be unlimited till the bottom level it said if suppose you are in the 15th floor and you created this vr you set it the vr you want to see the view depth you can set this unlimited so till the ground level till the minus one till the basement it will appear on that so it works like this so let's first let's associate this on level one because we're just working on the level one here so that's why it's associated there so basically these are the few things in that and here it's mentioned here that is a view depth which we already considered and this is a view range. So basically the total from one to four, 
is considered as a view range that is called view range and shortcut key is vr so this whole process called view range so suppose now we can actually do this experiment suppose we let's set this up you can see that level 2 is on uh, basically on 3 meter so let's put this and let's ex do experiment of 1 meter and i will just decrease this to 500 mm so then we will see how it's going to look like on the floor plan and when you hit apply you will see now the window is gone why because this cut plane is actually here if i go here and i put this on 500 this is actually here and if i go to the wireframe you can see the window is actually on this side so how much above it is actually we need to first let's check here roughly this is 900 so let's increase to 1000 so if it goes to 914 or 900 let's put it 900 uh let's first check this like this so we can understand better so suppose this is 914 let's make it 920 so let's go again here vr and just put it 940 and apply you will slightly see the window is now appeared so basically i hope you understand this is how the view range works it is not complicated it's quite easy to understand through by this and this is how it works.